Hi all, welcome to this course on PPC. Today we will be learning about the inputs to MR. Master production schedule lists what the end products and how many of each of E is to be produced and when they are to be ready for shipment. For the entire process of making the products ready for shipment and production process is generally called as the input. So we have the MRP processor which is being obtained from the NPS or the master production schedule which is again obtained from the sales forecast, sale order and the spare part requirement and based upon the capacity planning, bill of materials, inventory record file we will be having the MRP processor or utilizing all this data we do the MRP processing. The planned order release for the purchase and manufacturing is based upon the entire process. Then we have the planning process. This entire planning process is coming under the aggregate production planning, which depends upon the factors like management return on capital investment, procurement supplier performance, production capacity inventory, marketing customer demand, finance cash flow, human resource manpower planning, engineering design completion, and the master production plan. If there is any change in the production plan, then it again goes into the aggregate production plan and final decision comes as master production schedule. So next, the, and finally, the bill of material file is used to compute the raw material and the component requirements for end products listed in the master schedule. It provides the information on the product structure by listing the component parts and sub-assemblies that make up each product. Hence, the product in the production system, we are having the production system to be P1, which gives rise to the aggregate planning of S1 and S2 under which three departments C1, C2, C3 will be working and final products M1, M2, M3 are obtained. Similarly, under S2, we are having C4, C5, C6 where M4, M5 and M6 are being produced. So based upon this production planning, we will be finally producing these outputs as M1, M2, M3 and M4, M5 and M6. Hence, the inventory record file is referred to as the item master file in a computerized inventory system. This provides the item's identification and other data about the parts such as order quantity and the lead types or the complete information is given by this item master data and the inventory status which gives a time phase record of the inventory status. In this MRP, it is important to know not only the current level of inventory but also any future changes that will occur against this inventory. Therefore, the inventory status segment lists the gross requirement for the item schedule, receipts, on-hand status and the planned order releases and even the subsidiary data which is the third file which segments provide subsidiary data such as purchase orders, scrap or rejects and the engineering changes.